This week on OSRL. The pole barn addition to our house starts to take shape. But first, we need to do this before we lose all of our water. How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here, my wife and I were building our own home off-grid here in the Arizona desert. But if you did catch our last episode, then you know I made tremendous progress on starting the next phase of our house. I got a bunch of post holes in there. It's coming along really nicely. But before I continue on with that, you also know that we have issues with our water pipe. Now we tried putting a fix on there, but unfortunately it is still leaking a little bit. And that's what I got to take care of right now. So we're still losing water as we speak. I don't like that. You know, we rely 100% on rainwater. So who knows when the next rainfall is gonna come. I gotta get this thing fixed and I wanna put a better, more permanent fix in place. So this is what we got now. And as you can see, it still shouldn't be wet like that. No bueno. You know, uh, you had wrapped the pipes up and actually the first time you wrapped it, it was probably a lot better. But then the second time we wrapped it, when we tried doing a better seal on it, it was just leaking way too much. It's probably not the way to completely stop an active leak like that. So we got a bunch of suggestions on our last video and that's something I want to try right now. I'm going to see if I can plug up the poly tanks from the inside. That way I can remove the pipe, add in a ball valve much closer and then just replace this whole piping. I'm actually going to replace this whole thing. So let's get this thing fixed properly. Before I start working on the tanks, I'm going to put some more water in the trailer. That way, just in case things take a little longer than I anticipate, we don't run out of water in there. Okay, so my idea to plug up the poly tanks is to use this sort of little bathroom drain stopper. Nice and flat. My idea is to put a little hole right through here, attach a wire through there, and maybe I can snake it down to cover up the whole of the poly tanks. All right, so progress update. I had to remove some of the dirt around the pipe, just probably built up around there over time. Now I'm gonna cut the rest of this tape and insulation off and then I can try and plug up that leak from the inside. So before I open up the poly tank, I wanna just kind of remove some of this old paint on the PVC. Uh, that way I can get a better glue when I attach the ball valve. All right, so I got this long, thin section of PVC, and I'm hoping I can snake the wire through there, and it'll add some rigidity so I can hold that plug right up to the bottom. I spent a couple of dollars on uh, the little plug, and then uh, the wire and the PVC pipe, we just had that lying around. Okay, well, I needed to use the headlight, but good news that uh, that plug seemed to really work. As soon as I got it right over the hole, it just seemed to kind of, the pressure seemed to kind of suck it in. So it looks like we're good now. Uh, the, um, we opened up the drain over here and nothing's coming out or very little's coming out. All right, let's get to work. So since I only got a plug holding that water back, I wanna get this ball valve installed as quickly as possible. Okay, so now while the glue is drying over there, I'm gonna start prepping the pipe for the next poly tank. The nice thing is, at least we're not losing any water right now. I've already solved that, no more leaks. So that's the important thing. Now to put a ball valve on this tank. I figure why not just do them both right away, take care of it. And uh, this will be a much better setup than I originally had. Live and learn. All right, so while that's drying, I'm gonna cut the tape, cut the uh, insulation off this pipe, and then we can get started over here. That other pipe's been sitting for a decent amount of time and I kind of want to get that poly tank closed up. So I'm just going to kind of clean off this pipe a little bit and then we're going to test out how well I put on that ball valve. 
So right now I want to get this sealed back up. So I'm going to pull that plug out. So we're basically going to see how well that ball valve connection is. You could see the uh, ball valve is closed off. And so then uh, we'll pull this out and uh, we'll see. No leaks detected? No. Okay. Kind of a cool little concept I came up with to plug it up, huh? It was creative. <laughs> I was afraid we'd have to like scoop, do some scuba diving or something, <laughs> but you figured out a way to fish that down in there. It's kind of funny because when you did that, I could tell exactly when you opened it up because it sucked it in. <laughs> okay, well, I'm ready to work on the second pipe. So we got one ball valve on, it's looking really good. I'm gonna cut this pipe, we're gonna put that second one on. All right, now we'll wait till this dries and test this one out. I wanna pull the plug out and we're gonna test uh, how well the ball valve is attached. So the plug is out, no leaks over here by the valve. Okay, we don't need you anymore, but you've served me well. <laughs> so a lot of this pipe won't be able to be used anymore. That's okay. I think all this stuff can be removed. Although I probably won't use this uh, PVC valve anytime soon, I could still possibly use it. It's still usable. But I probably will use this. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this out of the way, and then I need to clear out some of this brush. I just want to make this nice and clear for when we put in the next section of the pipe. Okay, so I've cut and added a couple of small pieces of PVC to each ball valve. One over here, and one over there. All right, so I'm gonna put the T together. I probably should have been using gloves from the beginning, but sometimes I just get overly excited. Okay, so this is gonna be the most important piece. So we'll do a little dry run here. I think this'll fit together real nice. Let's do this, y'all. Final piece. They're looking pretty solid. <laughs> so I thought I might need an extra hand kind of putting this together, but it all came together pretty easy. Everything's hooked up. Should be good to go, but I will just wait until... Just let it sit overnight. We don't need any water now anyway. And um, maybe we'll test it out tomorrow. Just see if everything is watertight and uh, we're not getting any leaks. All right, well, Jess is back from her excursion and I got a little surprise for her. You ready? Got yeah, a surprise? Yeah. Got a surprise for you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. I thought you were gonna wait. You oh. got the whole thing done? Yeah, it's all done. Wow. I haven't run any water through it yet. I figured just let it, we don't need it right now anyway. I figure just let it set overnight and we'll water test it tomorrow. Very cool. Yeah, it looks good. That It looks sturdier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a much more robust pipe. Yeah. And, and it should be less prone to freezing. Right. In that corner where we had the problem before, like if we ever had the same problem, we, now the valves are before that point. So. Yeah, right off the tank. Yeah, that's good. See, now you don't even have to get your hands dirty. I took care of it. <laughs> good job. <laughs> I got my hands a little dirty, see? A little blue. A little blue. Then I started wearing gloves. Oh. <laughs> Where's your toys? Now she's more interested in dip. All right, well, I'm about to let loose with the water. 
See what good of a job I did assembling the pipes? Okay, you ready? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> but it's a lot of water going in to, to fill up those pipes. Just taking a look around. Looks like a success to me, right? Like there was any doubt, right? <laughs> what do you think, Jess? You excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this looks a lot nicer. Very clean, very nice. The way you fixed it worked really well. Yeah, many thanks to the viewers. They had lots of suggestions. And uh, that's the one that I think I like the best. Reaching in there, kind of plugging it up from the inside and it worked out really well. It's a shame that we lost as much water as we did. We probably lost a few hundred gallons. I think it, it was a while before we were able to do the repair, but all fixed now, done right. Not just wrapping it up a thousand times. <laughs> No dogs allowed. I upgraded my buckets, my chicken buckets. Oh, you're liking the metal pails, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. Now that I got the water situated, I can get back to working on the house. I got a record amount of post holes dug the other day, but I still got a few more to do. So I'm gonna keep digging, and I'm hoping maybe I can finish this up and actually start getting some posts in the ground. The water project kind of held me up a little bit. So today I've been kind of busy. I got uh, some more post holes dug. Unfortunately, I had to move some of them slightly. Most of the posts are 10 feet away from each other, except toward the north in which they're like a, just a little bit like 11 feet so I had to move them over slightly so I had to do a little bit more digging you can see that one I had to move slightly this one I had to move a bit more I had to dig a, almost a whole new hole for that one <laughs> and uh, that one I just had to to move slightly couple of changes and I might have to make some more changes but uh I think we can get some posts in the ground right now then we'll start doing some more measuring so I'm gonna start bringing out some posts getting them laid out and just square everything up again uh oh back to doing cob how's it feel it's been a little bit yeah um feeling well enough for cob and it's nice and warm today Got to take advantage of that. Yeah. Ready to get your hands dirty. <laughs> she wants to give you kisses. <laughs> oh, is she gonna lean up against you? <laughs> um, I can't pet you right now. I don't know if you noticed, but...
you really been uh kind of working these root cellar walls pretty nicely yeah. that's looking real nice jess thank you Yuvi, what you doing? Waiting for mama? So I've spent this morning pulling apart some of these old door forms. And what I got here are some of the two by fours that we had sticking out of the dome that we we're kind of using as platforms. So I'm gonna start pulling these apart. These two by fours would be great to use as sort of braces for when I put in the posts. So I'm going to start taking these apart and I think we can uh, start using these to put the posts up. Very cool. All right, so we are about to put these posts in the ground. I'm very excited. I got Jess out here helping me. She wanted, uh, she wanted to get out here in the sunshine. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you look at my neck. Okay, ready? Thank you. There you are. <laughs> Always hard at it. Wow, you're really transforming this wall. Looks fantastic. Did I say that already? I think so. Well, you know what? I'm gonna say it twice because it looks so nice. <laughs> Finally, there's an expert at work. The difference between just covering the bags and then making them look amazing. I like the gentle padding technique. Still using that. That's from way back in the day. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Smack it. Rub it. Tap. That's my philosophy. Mmm, smells earthy in here. Moving pretty quick on it too. It's amazing how much a couple of mixes can go.
Well, all right, we started getting some posts in the ground. Very exciting, huh? I would have liked to have started getting more posts in the ground and maybe even doing the cementing, but I really wanted to get the water situation under control. Uh, unfortunately, we were losing way too much water. So yeah, I'd like to be a little further along in the build, but hey, I'll take what we can get. You know, uh, it's coming along. I think we're making pretty good progress. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, it's starting to become something. <laughs> <laughs> it's already starting to become something. I just got to get some more posts in, start getting some adjusted, and then maybe we can uh, cement these down. As you can see, the winds are really picking up and it's possible we could have uh, some storms rolling in, which would be nice if uh, we could make up some for some of that water that we lost. Uh, we're gonna end this video here before she blows away and uh, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Bye. Oh no, oh, ho, ho, ho.